So, Inferno difficulty. It's the new difficulty we've added. It's, it's at the end of the game. Um, it's, uh, it's only max level, so you have to be level 60 to be able to go to Inferno. Uh, and the way it works is each act is increasingly more difficult, and each act drops, drops a unique tier of loot. So, the, um, we have as, you know, as much loot as you'll see as any of the other acts of the game. You will get all new items from, from uh, act to act as you move through uh, Inferno difficulty. Uh, but Inferno difficulty is very, very, very hard. Um, we basically, um, internally, we had, we had this super hardcore test team, and we got a lot of hardcore players at Blizzard, um, that tested Inferno, and we got it to the point where they thought it was challenging enough, and then we doubled it. Because we knew that our, no matter how good we are, our players are gonna be better. So we focused on uh, making that as difficult as we could possibly make it. So that begs the question, how do you survive Inferno? So one of the first things I would recommend to players is um, you can absolutely solo Inferno. You, there's, we didn't design Inferno to be to require cooperative play. The game adjusts its difficulty based on the number of players. Um, however, if you can coordinate well, um, multiple players will do better than a single one because they have more capability. Now they have a much greater capacity to, uh, for everything to go horribly wrong um, because you don't have to rely on anybody when you're just by yourself, but um, the ability to combine different, uh, different um, kind of classes together in effective combos is one of the things that makes Inferno really interesting. Uh, I would recommend um, uh, that when you build your character for Inferno, you want to think about several things. Um, you definitely need single target damage. Um, it may, I think everyone thinks about Diablo and they think of it as a, you know, massive AOE game where I will, I will rain fire across the screen and destroy everything. And you will, there's plenty of that. Um, but the best, item, the best uh, loot comes from rares, champions, and bosses in, uh, in Inferno. And they're very, very tough. Um, so you need to maximize your damage against them and single target um, abilities are actually designed to deal more damage because they're only hitting one target. Um, you also need AOE abilities. Um, when you're working with a group especially, the ability to kind of concentrate all your AOE damage is essential to be able to kind of burn through uh, the, the regular kind of monsters that you have to do to get through and find uh, all your rares and champions. You need defensive abilities. There's a reason we structured the um, the uh, skill system that we did was to kind of, you know, the primary abilities are often kind of single target oriented um, this, and, and spamming and allow you to generate resources. The secondary abilities are very AOE focused and so um, while there are some single targets in them, um, they, you know, they tend to expend resources to be able to deal kind of maximum damage so you gotta go for one of those. And defensive abilities usually take more than one. Uh, when I play Wizard, I, I usually take a, a defensive ability that's self-centric and a defensive ability that's group-centric. So uh, Teleport is a wonderful um, self-centric because it gets you out of a bad situation. Slow Time is wonderful for a group because you can put it down right where all the action is and help kind of lessen the incoming damage to everyone. There's even runes you can do that will um, allow, give bonuses to other players who stand within the slow time or increase uh, penalties against monsters who stand within it. So it's a great ability to kind of help uh, uh, your friends and hurt your enemies. So and every class has something like this. So search for those things that uh, are designed to help you help your, your friends. Um, those abilities are awesome for you even without. Like slow time's a great ability even if you're soloing, but if you're with a group, it's even better. So, and then past that, it really comes down to maximizing those, those three core ideas. Uh, you want single target, you want AOE, you want to be able to get out of bad situations. Um, and you get into some other things, you wanna be able to balance kind of your ability to generate resources versus your ability to, to spend them. But if you've got those three things covered, um, then, uh, and, and you're thinking about your teammates, uh, then that's essential. Some of the things that you'll encounter in Inferno are um, we've taken all of the rares and champions and given them uh, abilities that don't appear anywhere in normal difficulty. Um, 
They have the ability to generate walls that block your escape routes. They, uh, they create kind of massive damage orders. We've got this one ability called Grenadier, which um, is specifically kind of an anti-ranged ability because it does these lobbing attacks. If you're close to the guy, you don't get hit by him, but if you're further away, they're very damaging and very dangerous. So there's a lot of different abilities designed to kind of deal with each different uh, type of class in the game that the enemies have. We've specifically put them there to challenge all of, all of our players and the hopes that they find the Inferno mode uh, really awesome.